Okay guys, this is Ikro and this is another video about Touch OSC and I just want to make this as quick as possible because this is actually the third time that I'm trying to record this video and well, I'm getting kind of tired of trying to do it so I'm just gonna open it and the first step is always to make sure that you have the same wireless connection on your iPod and your in your Mac. If you don't have that, it's not gonna work. So you need a wireless connection between them. Uh, what's first? Well, first is the Touch OSC editor. You can download it from the Touch OSC website, and you can create your own layout. It's actually pretty neat. So you can add whatever you want. And you can resize it and you can add more pages and yeah I'm just going to open something that I created earlier cool so I have some faders here and some pushes and well that's it so when you're done creating your layout you just want to click on sync and on your iPod you're going to click on layout and add and you're gonna see your computer here just click on it and it's going to ask me to overwrite it because I already have it so I'm just going to cancel it and you can see that I have it here and it's going to have the same name as your file has so if you save it as 1234 it's gonna have 1234 as a name here Okay, so I'm just going to show you that it works here. Yeah, you can see it's really nice. Yeah, no. I'm just going to open Oscillator so I can show you how it actually works. Um, I'm just going to close the editor. Just a moment. Okay, I have oscillator here. It's going to change the input port. And well, a couple months ago, I, I recorded another video showing how to sync, how to use Touch OSC with the Mac and oscillator. But that's too old right now, and that's the old school method. And nowadays it's really a lot easier to use Touch OSC with Oscillator. So you just have to open Oscillator and click on Network. Oops. The focus is really bad right now. Let me try to do something over here. Well, you can't really see it. Oh, there you go. Click on Network, and your computer is going to show up right here. Just click on it, and it's done. You should press Done. And since it's the first time that you're using this layout with Oscillator, you should touch each one of the controllers once, so you can assign whatever you want. And of course, I've done this already, so I'm just going to open the file. Yeah, as you can see here, let me. Oh, it's working. Yeah. So I'm just going to open a button live to show you that it really works. And I'm actually really excited with this new touch editor because I can have like a lemur on my hands. I can design my own layouts and have as many pages as I want that's really exciting so as you can see here I have six tracks with different clips and I have the faders controlling the volumes and oops, just let me click here and I have this controlling working as 
the keyboard so I can select what clip do I want to play and here I have the master volume and some master effects equalizer and well I'm just gonna press play and you can see I'm just going to turn all the volume all off um, Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. This is actually really nice. Got the master here. Well, that's it. I really like this new version of Touch OSC, so I'm making this new video. And thanks for all the comments on the last few videos. And I'm trying to reply as many as I can. Uh, I'm going to upload this layout with the oscillator file and this Ableton Live project without the samples so you can add your own samples but yeah so you can see how it works and have some fun all right guys so thanks a lot and I'm back home as you can see I'm not in that small room anymore I'm in my new studio so yeah have fun and if you have any question just drop a comment and I'll be glad to ask I mean, be glad to reply to you. Have fun and be good. Touch OSC.